Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm covering Avatar The Last Airbender Ang's Destiny, a cooperative deck building adventure game set in the Avatar Last Airbender universe. And disclaimer that I received a review copy of this one. And if you like the content on the One Stop Co-op Shop, consider supporting us through Patreon. You get early access to our videos and exclusive videos every month you can't see anywhere else. You can also listen to our podcast for reviews and design discussions, or join the conversation and come say hi on our Discord. So if you've heard of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, which is another cooperative deck builder, Ang's Destiny is based on mostly the exact same system, although they did make several improvements to the system that I really appreciate. I'll try to call those out. I haven't played Hogwarts Battle in quite a long time. It was actually like, I think might have been the first review I did on the channel, so go watch that for some horrible flashbacks. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan, along with my kids and my wife. This is one of our entire family's favorite shows of all time. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be showing it's a seven box system. So this again is similar to Hogwarts Battle. So they've divided up uh, Avatar, if you don't know, had three seasons. First season was in the water, kind of like nation focused, then the Earth Kingdom, and then the Fire Nation. I'm going to be showing you box four, which is, I think, when like most of the most important rules are in effect. The first one, two boxes even, I would say, are kind of tutorial-ish, are really like if you've never played a deck building game before, you might want to use those to teach somebody. Three is pretty good, but then four adds a few more things that I really like. So I guess uh, some spoilers for later in Avatar in <laughs> part of season two and some spoilers for like halfway through the game. If you want to see all the unlocks yourself, you're going to get a little bit of stuff here. I'm going to be controlling the super team of Sokka, the uh, water fighter and Toph, the earthbender, uh, some of my favorite characters. You also have Aang, Katara, uh, Appa, although in this part of the game, he's been captured by the sandbenders. And then later on, you'll unlock uh, Zuko from the Fire Nation. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of, this is a pretty basic deck builder, except for some things going on that are pretty cool. So I'll just walk you through kind of the first turn and jump in. It's a pretty straightforward game. But I will tell you kind of what the main uh, loss and win conditions are first. So characters each have 10 health. If they go down to zero, they get stunned, which makes them discard some cards and like lose tokens and advance the enemy's plans. But then they come back with 10 health again. So you don't lose from losing all your health. Now, instead, what makes you lose is if this little Fire Nation ship, which is like a little standee, but I just took out the part that goes there in the middle. It starts on the one space here, and many effects are going to advance it. And as it advances, it's going to cause you to draw more negative cards as you go along. And if it ever gets to the final space, then you lose the game. But there are some player cards that can push it back as well, so it's sort of a back and forth kind of thing. But yeah, that's the loss condition. Now, the win condition is twofold. You have a deck that is unique for each box, and you always have the uh, first one out here. These are called the objective cards, and they're going to follow along with the story of like where the uh, campaign is in the overall Avatar story. So like I said, this is mostly focused on when Appa is uh, kidnapped. And I'm going to give you certain like goals to achieve, sometimes just using your basically money and attacks, because this is uh, one of those deck builders where you're gaining two resources to uh, put things here. And you'll get rewards when you complete them, sometimes even adding cards to your deck or unlocking favorite characters in the game. And often those things will move forward into future games in the series. So you'll see that in a second in this one. And then additionally, you have to defeat every adversary in the deck. In the first couple games, this is a pretty small deck, but it gets to be around like 10 or 11 people pretty quickly. And in box four, you have two of them up at a time, I think box three as well. And then when you get to box five, which is uh, right after what I'm playing, then you would have three active at a time, which means you can hit them whenever you deal damage equal to their health here, then uh, they're defeated. And again, you'll get a reward. So yeah, you have to fully progress through all the objectives while also defeating all the adversaries without uh, letting that ship advance to the end. That's the basic idea. But with that, let's jump into the actual turn-by-turn -turn stuff, starting with Sokka, and see how we go. So the first step on each turn is to reveal and resolve Fire Nation cards. And this is based on the current position of the ship, since it's on space one. One through six means you only draw a single one. This one says Chi blocking. Ty Lee is getting involved. Oh, and by the way, you're going to see this on every card in the game. This indicates which boxes you use this for thematically, and part of that is unlocking, but a lot of that is thematic. For example, the sandbedders never show up again, so they are only, see, four, two, four, that's like beginning and end, they are only used in box four, so you're never going to fight sandbenders like in the final battle against the Fire Nation. 
And the same thing happens with allies. So, like, if an ally becomes an enemy or an enemy becomes an ally in the show or they die in the show, they're not going to show up later. So I, I very much, you know, it does add a little bit of time to set up and clean up, but I very much appreciate that uh, they don't, like, totally break the immersion. Because I remember in Hogwarts Battle, you'd be, like, I don't know, <laughs> fighting an enemy that died in the first book of Harry Potter or getting an ally who died in the second book. It was always a little weird. Anyway, all re uh, heroes reveal the top card of their deck, and if they revealed a bending card, they discard it and take two damage. Uh, there are two, well, actually, there's several types of card, but bending is one of them. Sokka, I was going to say, doesn't have any bending cards, so clearly that's not going to affect him. Toph, on the other hand, has several, but luckily she didn't draw one. Okay, so that effect didn't do anything. And then next, we resolve adversary abilities. We go left to right. So the Sandbenders say the active hero must discard an ally, reserved or from their hand, or take one damage. And the active player is Sokka. So you have a lot of types of cards, like item and action and ally. That's an important one. But these all come from the general support deck, and most card effects are going to just reference that. They'll be like, do this with a support card or gain a support card. And the support deck is over here. It gets pretty fat as you go along. And you'll have four cards up at a time. Although a new thing that's nice to prevent the market from getting stagnant, which it did in Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, is that anytime you would flip a duplicate card, they get stacked and you continue flipping until you always have four unique options. So like if I drew two more restore balance cards, they wouldn't fill the entire market. They'd all be stacked in one spot. You also have these bending cards for purchase. Uh, there's a stack for air, water, and earth. You have the deck face up and then a separate stack here. And again, they have to each be unique. So like if I had two water whips showing, I would combine them down here and then flip another one there. We haven't gotten to Fire Nation yet. I think that comes out in box five or six, probably when Zuko joins us. But yeah, so these are support cards, which can be items, actions, allies, and these are all bending cards. And there's more about bending cards, but we'll get to that in a second. But again, the Sandbenders want us to either discard an ally, which could be reserved or in our hand, or take one damage. Princess Yui has become a moon spirit to support Sokka. Again, uh, if you haven't seen the show, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I, she's really good. I don't want to discard her, so I'm just going to take the damage instead. And then the Fire Nation ship is the next one. It says any hero takes one damage. So let's share the wealth and have Toph do that. And then finally, we review the current objective to see if it has any effects. And often they don't, but this one does. Until completed, the active hero takes one damage each round. And to complete this one, the active hero must reduce the uh, boat, push back the boat twice in a single turn. All right, so Sokka takes another damage. Great. Okay, now we get to actually playing out our cards, taking action, and doing stuff. So let's get to what that looks like. So you'll have a five-card hand like most deck builders. You're playing cards one at a time, and most of them are either giving you this resource or this one. And this one is called Purpose, but I just call it Money, because that's what you buy stuff with. <laughs> and this one is called Attack, which is Attack. That one's uh, pretty straightforward. And you can play out cards to your played area basically whenever you want. You'll just build up the tokens for, like, the basic effects. And then you can assign them whenever you want, spending money to add cards. They'll go to your discard pile. This is pretty basic deck builder stuff. And then the attacks you can assign to any of the adversaries, and when it equals their health, they'll be defeated. Now you also have some other effects, like this one is pushing back the boat if it's advanced, which it hasn't yet. You can also get card draw, so Moon Spirit Yui would let you draw two cards, and then you have to discard any one card. And there are some kind of defensive cards, because often enemies will make you discard, or like Yui there will make me discard cards as well, where if you discard it, you get something special. So the Whalebone Club, if I discard it, I'll get two money. Or sorry, what was it? Purpose. <laughs> And then also starting in box three, each character has a special ability. So this one says if you assign two or more attack on your turn, reveal cards from the general support deck until you reveal an ally. Place the ally on top of the draw pile and the other reveal cards on the bottom of the deck. So Sokka can like dig for allies, which tend to be the strongest card in the deck. So it's nice to get those. All right, so let's uh, go through. So all of these are starting cards. Now you'll see that Sokka has Moon Spirit Yui. She was actually a reward card in a previous box. So he unlocked her and then she gets permanently added to her deck. Toph is unlocked for the first time in box four. So I'm not going to have any of those cool things, but you'll actually see her get some during this quest. So what do I want to do? Um, let's do the map to push the boat back. And then... <laughs> Even though I'm not actually pushing the boat back, I can still resolve the objective. So I'm going to push the boat back again. So Sokka is already going to evade and outrun the mysterious machine. 
And cards aren't technically discarded, like, when you play them. They're just in a played area, because, like, if you had an effect that would let you draw and, like, have to reshuffle your deck, they wouldn't be in the discard area yet. But yeah, so I complete this, which means I get to roll the green and the blue die, and I just put this over here. Importantly, you don't refill defeated adversaries or refill the objective until the end of your turn, so you can't, like, keep on completing more objectives. All right, these dice are added uh, in box four. These are very similar to the Hogwarts Battle one. They each have some symbols that are more likely and less likely, and whatever you roll is applied to everybody. That's pretty nice. So each of our heroes is going to get two attack tokens. Now, when someone who's not the active hero gets tokens, attack, or purpose, they just kind of hang out until their turn, and then they can spend them. Importantly, though, at the end of your turn, every token that you have not used is discarded. So, like, Sokka has to use those two attack this turn or lose them, but Toph is going to get a second before she has to use hers. All right, what else does Sokka want to do? So he's got the starting helping hand card. Everyone has this. You can get one purpose or remove from play to get three purpose. Uh, he's got his whalebone club, which is just one attack, or if it gets discarded... Gets him uh, to purpose. And then Moon Spirit Yui could let me draw two cards and then discard the Whalebone Club. So I'd have two more cards and two purposes. Kind of crazy. Now, what else is going on with Yui? Super, super important. And let me talk about bending cards with this as well. So you'll see that we've got these four icons here for the four types of bending. Although, again, we don't have access to fire yet. But Sokka is not a bender. He doesn't know how to use any bending powers. And that matters because while anyone can buy these bending cards, like the Stone Shield, if you don't have access to that bending, all you get is the basic effect on top, which is usually really weak for the cost. Like, I'm really going to spend six to get one attack? Give me a break. Oh, there's, uh, by the way, the cost to buy the card with purpose. But if you have the bending, so like if Toph bought this card and she already is an Earthbender, then you also, you get both the bottom and the top effect, so it's great. So does that make Sokka just like the worst character ever? Because all he can do is use a little like boomerang swordy thing or his super meteorite sword later. Kind of. But <laughs> you can whenever you buy an ally who has a bending type or whenever you play an ally who has a bending type, you can put them in your little reserved area here. And then you get access to their bending. So with Moon Spirit Yui, Sokka can basically be a water bender or at least she's helping him to like do water bending ish things. And again, that includes when you buy an ally with bending, because normally they would just go to your discard pile, but you can immediately put them here. And then additionally, once they're in your reserve, you can freely on your turn play them as though they were in your hand. But then, of course, you lose their bending until you, you know, deal back into them, shuffle back into them and play them again. Now, at the moment, <laughs> I'd rather just play her because Sokka doesn't have any water bending stuff to benefit from. So it's going to let me draw two cards and then discard any one card. I got two basic offer aids with the whole team there. And I will discard the Whalebone Club for its plus two purpose. Okay, and then let's just do stuff. So I'll offer aid twice. It gets me to four purpose. So then I can get to five or seven. Let's see what I might want to buy. So to go through things quickly, currently we have no allies and none of our characters can use air bending. So I'm going to ignore that. But the Water Whip costs three, one purpose, and then two attack. That's pretty dang awesome. Grip of Ice gets two purpose. And then if you play two or more additional bending cards, that would really require a lot of bending, um, you get plus one attack and plus one healing. Uh, stone Levitation, one purpose, one attack, draw, ooh, draw another card, <laughs> love that. And then Stone Shield is one attack, and then plus one heart for each ally you have in reserve. So that one's not great yet. Over here, Fire Flakes, anyone here gets an attack and a healing, and then if you discard it, you get a purpose and a healing. Snare Traps pushes back the ship. Restore Balance lets you roll any die. And again, that's going to benefit every single character. That's pretty dang good. And then these guys, they were the Swamp Benders, right? Uh, they get, they can do two damage to a single adversary or one damage to every adversary in play, which would be even better in Box 5 once there are three adversaries at a time. Yeah, you know, they're, they're pretty dang good. And it would give Saki even more consistent access to water bendings. Maybe he like buys a lot of water cards and Toph buys a lot of earth. So with that in mind, I'm going to just use regular helping hand for one. I'll save its trash effect for later. That gets me five purpose. I'm going to buy these guys. And let's go ahead and kill our first uh, adversary, right? Why not? <laughs> so I can put these people in reserve since I bought them. But then I don't need water bending, so I can immediately play them for my reserve. And I'm going to do two more damage to a single enemy, plus two more here. And do all four to the sandbenders. So every hero heals one, and every hero gets to draw a card. And again, we won't replace yet. Toss going to have a great turn, by the way, because I'm giving her a lot of stuff. Ooh, and I got Boomerang. Uh, so I can get plus one attack. 
And then unfortunately, I think this has to have already been played to get the bonus. If you defeat an adversary, gain plus one purpose. But here, I'll just get one attack from it. And we only have the Fire Nation ship to put that on. Cool. That was a great first turn for Sokka. Oh, and I forgot, if you assign two or more attack on your turn, which I absolutely did, I get to search the general deck and find the first ally, which was Master Paku. Another waterbender. Six is pretty dang expensive, but plus two attack or make every hero heal two. Not too shabby. All right, so then Sokka ends his turn. So he places all his played cards and anything he didn't play. So you never keep anything from your hand in his discard pile. Uh, if you had any tokens left, you would discard them. He draws five new cards. And then we're going to replace things. So any adversaries that were uh, still alive would be pushed to the right, although that's already there. Now we have Ty Lee. Oh, no. For each bending hand card in hand, the active hero must choose to either discard the card or take a damage. Holy crap. We got to destroy her ASAP. We also advance to the next part in the story. Help Aang learn earthbending. Okay, the active hero must gain an earthbending card with a cost of at least four. Well, shoot, Toph can probably do that this turn. Until completed, heroes must pay one to use earthbending cards and allies. What? Toph is the best earthbender ever. <laughs> and then the reward here doesn't matter at all because Aang's not in the play, but Aang would gain earthbending. So I assume he would start with earth, air, and water in uh, box five, six, and seven. And then finally, Master Paku is coming out as predicted. And cool, we're ready to go to Toph's turn. So we're still at the one spot. Uh, Toph is going to lose one heart, and the boat's going to move to space two. And then Ty Lee is going to make Toph discard a card, a bending card, or take one damage. And then the Fire Nation ship is going to make somebody... Oh, I'll, I'll have uh, Sokka take that one. Okay, so Toph is taking one, plus however many bending cards she doesn't discard, and then we'll go. And sadly, remember she got like extra card draw and stuff, so she's got Seismic Sense and Earth Wave. Now, Seismic Sense lets her look at the top three cards of a general supp support deck, place any cards on the bottom, and then return the rest to the top in any order she chooses. I feel like that's not, like, absolutely needed, so I will ditch that. And I'll keep Earth Wave, so she'll just take a single point of damage. All right, and she's got Helping Hand and three Offer Aids. Those are the same as you saw with Sokka, so she could get three, uh, four, or even six uh, Purpose this turn. And then Earth Wave can move the boat back or do an attack. And Toph special, if she gains four more purpose this turn, any one hero gains an attack token. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so let's see. I do want to help Aang learn Earthbending, so I'd have to buy an Earthbending card with a cost of at least four. And the obvious one here is Stone Levitation, because Stone Shield is based on having a bunch of allies in reserve, and Toph doesn't have anybody right now. She's not very friendly. <laughs> so we need to get to four money, which seems to me to just make it obvious that I should play the Offer Aids in the Helping Hand and not use its bonus uh, Trash It. So I'll buy Stone Levitation, and even though it gets us nothing, we have helped Aang. Well, it does get us uh, now. Toph won't have to pay one purpose to play her Earthbending card that's left. So here's Earth Wave. Um, I think I'll push the boat back. It's pretty bad if it gets to, like, the 7 and you start doing two bad cards a turn. We can save the attack for later. And speaking of attack, she did gain exactly four purpose. So she's going to give the extra attack to Sokka. That way we can be more likely to trigger his effect by playing enough attack to uh, put an ally on top of the deck. All right, and Ty Lee's still on top, although Sokka doesn't care. He hasn't bought any bending cards yet. Um, what have we got? Oh, explore the library of Wan Chi Tong. This is uh, when they're like in the sand place, right, with the owl guy. So play any two item cards in a single turn. Sokka got his boomerang. I don't think Toph has any, so you might need to buy some. Upon completed, active hero must discard one of my item card if possible. Ooh, and then Sokka will get a permanent reward card. Awesome. All right, so coming over here, what have we got? We've been spotted. Okay, the boat advances one, and every hero loses one. Jeez. Okay, and then any hero loses one here, and Sokka doesn't have any bending cards. It highly doesn't do anything. But I will have Sokka suffer the Fire Nation ship's attack because <laughs> Toph has like a billion bending cards, as you're about to see, and... I don't think I'm going to be able to finish off Ty Lee, so she's going to be a bit of a troubling situation. Okay, so I can do three purpose or five by trash helping hand. I got Suki, who's going to heal me one and get an attack. And I can reserve these guys, although, again, I'm probably just going to play them. So I can get to four attack, which is one shy of defeating Ty Lee. Definitely a bummer. And I can buy something for three or five. Are there any good items here? Fire Flakes. Any one hero gets an attack and a healing. Oh, and if you discard it, it gets a bonus, which will combo well with uh, the princess. See, so yeah, even though I kind of wanted to start buying water bending, I think I might do that. Well, it's pretty expensive. <laughs> uh, trashing my helping head just to get some fire flakes. I could just do the three and get the snare traps. Having uh, more ability to push back the boat is never a bad thing. Yeah, it seems to be a better idea because really I, I want to save the helping hand for like when I have a big, awesome card like Master Paku to buy. 
Yamansuki will heal me back to seven, and I get one attack, and then I'm going to play them to do two more. So I'm going to do four damage to Tylee overall. It's not going to save uh, Toph this turn, but it's something. And that does mean I get to dig for an ally with Sokka's ability again. And it is Zhang Zhang. Plus, oh, this is the same as Yui. And if you discard a bending card, plus, oh my gosh, he's good. Wow, for six, though. Uh, so he's on top, although he's about to come out, so I might as well just put him out. Uh, now, he is a firebender. And I think even though there are no firebending cards to play, I can still put him in my reserve, which uh, would be nice. Like, if I buy him, I can just immediately have him there. But clearly, he's not going to help us actually <laughs> play any bending cards. Oh, I just realized I put the wrong tokens on you, Ty Lee. Sorry. All right. Now we go to tough, and this is probably not going to be pretty. Oh, minus? No, don't keep... No! <laughs> oh, they healed everybody. Okay, and then we're doing Ty Lee's thing. Okay, I'm definitely going to have uh, Sokka take the damage again since he just healed. But now look at this trash. <laughs> um, I don't want to get rid of any of these because that's one, two, three attack, which is just enough to finish off Ty Lee. So I'm just going to take three damage. Stop chi blocking me, girl. Um, yeah, so let's make this happen. So Earth Armor is one damage or two healing. Earth Wave is one damage or one ship pushback. And then one damage here. Ooh, and if I defeat an enemy, plus one uh, purpose. So yeah, let's play all of those. Wait a second. Oh, that's right. Toph had two attack from uh, when I rolled the dice on Sokka. Oh, well, I forgot to use them, so I definitely missed my chance. But okay, she got one from that. She's putting out f uh, three attack. Oh, I'm sorry, that's defeating Tylee. That's why she got the one purpose. Okay, we're going to push the ship back to one, and everyone heals one. Nice. Okay, and then she can get a second, and hmm, three or five again. And then five would also trigger her ability. And we are in an expensive place right now. Look, it's like a ton of uh, sixes and fours. Restore balance is super good. Rolling the dice. Let's look at the fire flakes, although I feel like Sokka is going to be better at getting the items. In fact, you might be able to take care of that quest this turn. All right, you know what? I'm going to trash the card and get Restore Balance. I feel like that will be, in many ways, as good or better than Helping Hands. I just don't want to not buy anything. Leaves Toph with one purpose left, but nope, that's going away. I mean, she did get up to five purpose, so she's going to give Sokka the attack again. Fire Nation ship is still out, and ah, it's Admiral Zhao. Didn't he learn in the Water Nation? <laughs> the Northern Water Tribe? So each time in effect adds any number of progress to that. Oh, minus one. He heals all the enemies, which right now is not going to be... Okay, so that's not a very bad uh, enemy for the moment. All right, we're back to Sokka. Oh, there we go. So the ship advances twice to three, and he would heal, but the Fire Nation ship already got healed, and then any hero takes one damage. We'll have it be Sokka, because they'll both be at six. All right, and Sokka's got one item, and Moon Spirit Yui. So let's go ahead and use her power before we do anything else to draw two and then discard one and hopefully get... Yeah, there we go. Another item. Yes, this was perfect. We got two items. We'll discard the Whalebone from Yui's ability and that'll give us two purpose. And let's not forget to use our free attack this time. <laughs> okay, and then I'll go and offer aid twice for more purpose. That's four. Ooh, if I uh, trash helping hand, I should be able to get like really good. Or can I defeat an enemy this turn? Um, if I play Boomerang, I'll get one attack, and if I defeat an enemy this adversary, I'll get one purpose. One, I don't really have almost any attack, do I? <laughs> so what am I talking about? All right, so let's uh, use the map and the Boomerang. That's two items. We'll push back the boat to the two space. We're doing fine on that, and we'll complete this. Oh, so Sokka gains reward card 17, and they like come from the same deck. It's the Solar Eclipse Scroll. This does go straight to his discard pile. So any two heroes, wow, each get a card draw and a purpose. I love this card. Oh, and it's it's another starting card. He's going to have this for the rest of the campaign. Woo-hoo, go Saka. And while we're here, um, even though Admiral Zhao might just heal it away, I think the Fire Nation ship is actually the nastier monster or adversary at the moment. All right, so Saka can get to five purpose or to seven. Oh, and I forgot to refill for Toph. Oh, it's more Fire Flakes, so that stacks again. And then Lychee Nuts, one attack and one healing. We don't have a lot of things that are giving us purpose yet. Well, except for the water stuff. Maybe I should buy a water thing. Yeah, I'm really between Trashing Helping Hand to be able to buy Master Paku or Jong Jong, or, or uh, buying some... Actually, I can get two water cards if I go to uh, the seven. Hmm. Yeah, you know, let's do that, because that's going to get Sokka some more money. And again, he's got two allies to help him play him. So I'm going to trash Helping Hand to get to seven. I'm going to spend the first three on the Water Whip. One money, and then two attack. And ah, I don't have enough for that one. Okay, so I'll get the Grip of Ice for the other four. 
Yeah, now I need to get a bunch more bending cards, which I don't know if Saka will ever have necessarily to get the bonus here, but plus two money for four is fine by me because I just trashed one of my money cards. All right, great turn, Saka the goat. And let's see, Douse comes down, octopus form, nice. And we advance to our next objective. Track the sandbender through the desert. Each hero or active hero must play two earthbending cards of the same turn. <laughs> That's, I mean, I don't think there's any way that could not happen. <laughs> oh, and the heroes may not push back the boat until this is gotten rid of. I'm really glad I brought Toph along. I mean, it makes sense. She was clearly important in this part of the story. Uh, so going to Toph, all heroes minus one and cannot draw extra cards this turn. That would have been terrible for Sokka. I don't know if Toph has any major card draw effects. Zhao didn't activate. One person has to lose one health. I'll be Sokka again. At least he has Suki to heal him. He's down to four, by the way. The off Toph is at five. Oh, and Sokka did do at least two damage. So let's uh, do his little ally ability again. Getting Tio on top. Oh, there we go. That's a great card. Either just replace itself or get you some purpose when you need it. Especially for like Toph, who's <laughs> feeling a little bit poor right now. All right, so she's got the two earth bending. That's going to be nice and easy. Here's the stone levitation one I bought. So let's play that first. It's going to get her one purpose. And because she has Earthbending, one attack, and draw a replacement card. Man, I love that one. Okay, then we got three off her aids for three more purpose. Very nice. Helping hand, we'll worry about in a second. Okay, seismic sense. We look at the top three cards of a general support deck. Place any on the bottom of the deck and return the rest in the order of your choice. All right, we definitely want Tio Momo. Wow, a ton of purpose. Uh, oh, it's got a lot of healing. Nah, but I'll put the Kyoshi Warrior fan on the bottom. Uh, these ones... I actually kind of want Momo earlier, although we might not have enough money for him. Mm, yeah, we already got a lot of expensive cards. I'll put Tio on top still. All right, so Toph already has four purpose, so she can get to five or seven, and she has a single attack, although she can give herself another one. Um, yeah, I mean, she's already gotten enough. Uh, yeah, she's not going to be able to finish off the Fire Nation ship, unfortunately. So yeah, four, so five or six. Earthquake. Do two attack if you defeat an adversary, plus one purpose and plus one healing. Gosh, that's a good card. It's really expensive. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. I actually got an idea here. Let's do this. I think Zhang Zhang's going to be pretty good for Toph, and he can get her right away. So I'm going to trash her last helping hand. Gets us to seven, and I already got the uh, bonus for her having enough purpose. I'm going to buy Zhang Zhang, and I can reserve him immediately, and then I can play him to draw two and then discard any card. If I discard a bending card, which even though I've played several, there's still a pretty good chance I'll get two more purpose. Oh, so I still have one purpose because I might end up having enough to buy something. And again, importantly, I have not redrawn my played card. Uh, sorry, not reshuffled in my played cards. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I'll discard Earth Armor to get two more purpose. And then I got an Appa Offer Aid for one more. So she can buy another four purpose card. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm realizing there's no friggin' airbenders in the game, right? <laughs> Thematically, how would they be? So I think these are just like dead cards unless Ag is playing. Um, Fire Flakes is not quite as good. Well, I guess now she has Zhang Zhang to discard cards. So sure, she'll buy one of the copies of Fire Flakes because it's just slightly better than Lychee Nuts or Lychee. I think it was Lychee uh, because it can target any hero instead of just her. And for her attacks, it's almost dead. Let's get that Fire Nation dealt with. Oh, that's right. Um, she did this. Active hero must... Oh, I would have added reward card 18 to the top of the general support deck. Well, I'll just do that now. I guess I should have already done it. What is it? A pie show tile. Use the ability of any reserved ally. Do not discard the ally. It's pretty dang nice, especially with both of us having very powerful allies now. All right, and to finish out Toph's turn, nobody's uh, quite defeated here. We are close to finishing off the objectives. We're really going to have to focus in on attacking. Oh, escape the sea serpent at sea serpent's pass. Assign two attack and two purpose. And this kind of like attacking enemies can be over multiple turns. If the active hero assigns two damage to the objective, they draw a card. And then you get to roll any die twice. Nice. And that pie show tile is coming out. All right, coming back to Sokka. Has to, oh, lose a heart and discard a card. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any of the ones that give him a bonus. I guess like the basic offer aid is probably the... Best one he can discard. And then Admiral Zhao does not trigger, but for the Fire Nation ship, let's have Toph take the one damage. Oh, I didn't draw for her. So, ooh, he can defeat the Fire Nation ship with the boomerang, right? Yeah, because I think it only has one left. So that's defeated, and each hero gets to draw a card. Nice. Saka gets a purpose from boomerang's bonus. Offer aid gives him another one. And then the ship is only one away from the start. I'm going to get an attack with warrior style. And that'll be my second attack when I assign it. So that will let Saka's ability work. I'm actually going to equip Moon Spirit UA, both because I might draw my water cards that I added recently, and because I can always use her like on the next round if I see that I have a card that's going to benefit me for discarding it. All right, so do I want to spend three or five? And do I want to put my attack and stuff on that? 
Ooh, I kind of like this. Look, Dow is for five. I can push the boat back and get three purpose. Yeah, so I'm going to trash. That's uh, Sokka's last helping hand to buy that one. And then since Zhao might just heal himself, maybe. Although then if I put one attack on this, we'll only need to put one more. So I won't get a free card draw. Ah, let's put it on Zhao. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll stay. And we get a new baddie, Colonel Monkey. Oh, that was he on like one of the like the creatures that was chasing them, like when that band of hunters was. I, I haven't watched the whole series in a while. Then what new water form? Another water whip is out. It's a great card. <laughs> I should have stuck it by that. All right, going to tough. I've got a surprise for you. And it's one of the new ones. Heart. Uh, minus one for me. Oh, okay. It heals each person. So Admiral Zhao heals. That's okay. It's not too big of a deal. And then the Colonel makes Toph lose a life. Nothing from Zhao. I love that Zhao's power is like mostly ineffective. <laughs> that's pretty par for the course. Oh man, Toph's down to three. Oh, PS, I did it again. I forgot to do... Oh, that's right. Tio's still on top because we haven't actually bought any cards yet. So Sokka's power didn't matter. All right, Toph has a lot of stuff. She actually do a pretty solid amount of damage. Restore balance lets her roll a die. I think I'm going to do the fire die because three each die has uh, three of the faces that are all the same. That makes it most likely to give me and Sokka... <laughs> I was going to say attack, but apparently we each get a healing. That's okay, too. Okay, and then Toph can get two attack. If you defeat an enemy, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, you know, let's do both of these, Rock Column and Earth Wave. But I'll put them on the Sea Serpent, which is going to let Toph draw a card from that bottom effect, another Offer Aid. And then I'll get uh, money from the Offer Aids. It's three purpose, but honestly, I'm just going to put them both here and waste the last one. Oh, then I can roll and die twice. Maybe I won't waste the last one. Let's see what happens. We still have seismic sense. We'll get to that in a second. So yeah, let's roll uh, the red die again. So healing for both of us. And there we go. Attack for both of us. So yeah, Toph's one purpose is wasted. I'll put the attack, I guess, on the Colonel guy. He just seems a little bit more dangerous than Zhao. And will seismic sense? Although I feel like the cool cards we saw before are still there. Tio, Momo, we definitely still want. Oh, it's Duke and Pipsqueak. They're only around for one more after this. They're pretty dang solid too. Yeah, I'm not moving any of those. Those are great. Now, importantly, Toph only got three purpose, not four, so she doesn't get to activate her ability this time. All right, back to Sokka. Low morale. Oh, man, Sokka loses two. He's down to three, and Toph is down to four. And then <laughs> Sokka's down to two, about to get stunned, but uh, Emerald Zhao still does not activate. All right, so heck yeah, let's use this first. Solar Eclipse Scroll, both uh, Toph and Sokka are going to draw a card and get a purpose. And then I got Whalebone Club. Hmm. You know, with... With that coming out, I think... Oh, I didn't see the new uh, objective, actually. So hold off. Let's, before we decide what to do, see what's going on here. Defend Bossing Say. The active hero must play two bending cards of different... Ele oh, crud, of two different element types. And we can't gain healing now. But we didn't... Uh, that was on Toph's turn. Okay, crud. And this is on two. Okay. So yeah, we need to get... <laughs> uh, nobody... Yeah, because Toph has Zhang Zhang, but there's no fire cards. Sokka only has water cards. So we need to splash into something all right well that that'll take a while uh let's just not worry about it because we still have a lot of adversaries to go through we definitely need to prioritize more attacking all right so i'm gonna do what i uh, wanted to do i'm gonna get rid of moon sprint spirit yui to draw two in the discard one planning to discard the whalebone oh, i got suki and oh awesome okay so i need to i'm gonna put them in reserve at least until i play the grip of ice i'll discard the whalebone club so that gets me two more purpose and offer aid, offer aid. That will get me two more as well. I can't gain health right now, but Suki can give me an attack. Okay, and then I guess I'll use the map to push back the boat to number one. That thing's not moving much. And I guess we have a lot of money. Group of ice. Uh, now if I play two or more additional bending cards, yeah, I knew that one was going to happen very often. So that'll get me just two more purpose. Gets me to seven if I counted right, but only two attack. Although I could spend these guys to do some more. Which might actually be a good thing to do because I'm about to go through my deck again. Although I don't think I've seen my water whip yet. So, hmm. Oh, here, I could do this. Let me go ahead and do two damage to one person. Plus the two I already have. That'll finish off the colonel. So we, ah, we can't heal. Gosh darn it. <laughs> but we get two more purpose. Wow. And then here's where I did that. I have three, six, nine. So I'm going to buy Master Paku and put him in reserve immediately as well as this three-cost water whip. Um, yeah, so I'll still have a water bender, and uh, if I draw a water whip in a second, I'll be able to use it. Because I think that's everything I can do. 
And yep, okay, I was right. There's a water whip. Oh uh, yeah. In retrospect, I probably should have had a toff by Master Paku if she could have afforded him. Because now I don't think I have anybody of anything to help us <laughs> bend some more. Yeah, because Tio's not a bender. Uh, regular Fire Nation soldier, only four each time. One of these cards, or one of these abilities, causes someone to discard a card. That hero also loses a health. Not too bad. All right, for Toff. Oh, all heroes choose to discard an item card or take two damage. Whoa. But it would actually be discard a card and take one damage. Oh, except crud. Sokka is... Yeah, so I will discard a card and then from the Fire Nation soldier take one damage. But for Toph, I think she'll just suck it up and take both. All right. We got Zhang Zhang. Not that that, again, matters too much. Um... We'll do Earth Armor for one attack, Stone Levitation for one attack, one purpose, and a draw. Earth Wave, the boat's at the beginning, so that's another attack. Yeah, let's kill some people. Uh, Fire Flakes. Oh, she had discarded that. Well, no, because we can't heal right now. Uh, for Fire Flakes, I'll give her an attack, and then the one health is wasted, unfortunately. And we got one more purpose. And yeah, let's roll that attacking die again. Just keep churning through these adversaries. There we go. All right, so that's, how much is that? Five, heck yeah. Oh, except three purpose. I should have rolled a die that would be more likely to give me purpose than I could have used her ability to get the attack anyway. Although it wouldn't have gone to Sokka, I guess it's okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Active hero must play two bending cards of different element types on the same turn. It doesn't say anything about getting the bonus or being able to bend them. So if I just have Toph buy, like, a water card or have Sokka buy an earth card or even an air card... We'll be fine. Okay, so that, that's easier than I thought. Good. Uh, but I'm still in sort of a weird place with my purpose this turn. Five attack. And I guess the Fire Nation guy's worse. Uh, but now let's just get rid of Admiral Zhao. <laughs> and all heroes get plus one attack. And then uh, Toph will put that extra plus one attack on the Fire Nation soldier. And then she just has three purpose. Well, hold on, hold on. I forgot all about Zhang Zhang. Uh, where were the Fire Flakes? Could get one less damage. So let's say that I didn't put the final damage on Emerald Zhao yet, because he's have a discard ability. And say I use Zhang Zhang to draw two and then discard a card. Oh, but that's right. If I discard a bending card, I get two purpose. So I'll, I will still say I use Fire Flakes. And then I'll discard Rock Column to get two more purpose. And Offer Aid gets me another one. So that's six. Oh, man, which is just enough to buy one of these really good <laughs> Earth cards. Uh, But it'd be good if I, yeah, if each of them kind of splashed in. Okay. I'll have Toph by, never going to do anything, uh, the octopus form for five. All right, so we got another water whip. And, oh, it's the, the, the owl guy. So for each item card in hand, active hero chooses to either take it. Oh, it's the same as uh, Ty Lee, except for items. And that's definitely going to affect Sokka the most. And we're actually both about to be knocked out, so <laughs> it might not matter too much. Right, come on, Sokka, don't die. Don't die. Never mind, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> All right, so when you get stunned, you lose all tokens. That part sucks. I have to discard half my cards rounded down. Um, buys me a ton of stuff. But not, I still would not have enough to get um, an earth thing. So, yeah, I'll get rid of Dows And should I get rid of the item just so the... Well, I, I, I can't take any more damage while I'm stunned this round. So I'll get rid of Warrior Style. And then the owl tries to make me... Oh, that's right. I would take uh, damage from the Fire Nation guy with the discarding. I would take damage from Wan Chi Tong, but you can't take damage while you're stunned. And then at the end of my turn, I'll go back to 10. Okay. So I'll do a Water Whip for one and two attack. And then I'll give both of us a card draw and a money. And offer an aid. And I'm not going to use Paku yet. Let's wait till we're closer to running out of cards or we draw another Water Nation person. And sure, we'll keep on. Keeping killing this guy. And Saka's got three. I mean, another water whip would be great. <laughs> That's an awesome card, for so sure. All right, Toph, you're also pretty close to dead. Uh-oh. That's a surprise. Plus one boat. Oh, and sorry, when uh, uh, Saka got defeated, he's back to ten, by the way. That also advances them, so they're at three now. Okay, and then I don't think Toph has anything. We definitely discard anything. Yeah, I was going to say, she's not really much of an item person. Okay, we didn't get our water card yet, sadly. Oh, except stone levitation. Let's just draw, so we'll do that one. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So I'm playing Octopus Form for a Wasted Heart. It does mean that goes away, and Toph gets a reward card. And good, this is her first new starter one. So in uh, boxes five through seven, she would always have this. Wow, a plus two attack. And at the end of your turn, place any other played card on top of your deck instead of your discard pile. That's friggin' great. Although I probably won't see it for a while. That was, by the way, the final thing in the objective deck. So now it's just defeating our last, like, five enemies. Um, all right. 
Ooh, Rock Column lets me do an attack. If I defeat an enemy, get a uh, pr uh, purpose. And that extra attack is enough to finish off the Fire Nation. So we each heal one, and now we can heal. There's a free purpose. Let's get some more. And she's got the seismic sense again. Oh, these are all fun allies. I'll just leave them. Oh, and she has five, so she gets another attack. So she'll put both on the owl. And yeah, we don't want to spend five on. All right, so I can't quite afford these really good earth ones. So it's going to be one of these. You know, I think I'm going to get the pie show tile because if uh, Toph can like use that to trigger Zhang Zhang's ability or Master Paku or something, that's pretty dang good. All right, so that comes out. There's Momo. Although at this point, I guess we don't need as much money. We just want to attack. And who's next? Oh, God, the Fire Nation drill. We still can't gain hearts. You just had that. Ah. <laughs> uh, we got to do eight damage. Jeez. All right, what Sokka got going on? All here is choose to either discard a bending card or take two damage. Well, for Tough, yeah, that's fine. She's pretty close to being defeated. But Sokka didn't draw bending cards, so no good for them. Okay, and then the uh, the Owl. God, I got one, two, three items. But I, Sokka did just heal a bunch. I could get money from discarding that, but I kind of just want... No, I'm just going to take all the damage, whatever. Okay, one attack, two attack. I don't get any healing because of the drill. Three attack, and then, yeah, forget it. Master Paku... Five attack to at least defeat the uh, owl. I'll move back the ship, and I have a useless money. Okay. Although, oh, the owl heals us when we finish him off? Never mind. Let me do the five damage to the fire drill. Yeah, because then we'll heal a time when we defeat it. And I push the boat back to two. That thing's never going in. Next, we get Toph. Oop, the boat's advancing. Two, three, four. And then does Toph any of the items? Nope, she still doesn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's actually use Restore the Balance to try to draw a card. That's most common on the air one. And we got it, so we each draw a card. Fire Flakes. And then she doesn't have any bending cards right now. Well, let's use Zhang Zhang anyway. So we're going to draw two. Oh, sorry. He got played. So this guy I'm about to draw after I shuffle. Okay, so I could discard a bending card to get two. Hmm. Or I'm just going to discard an Offer Aid. Because, <laughs> again, I don't want money as much right now. All right, so then I can give myself one attack and one healing. I'll get another attack from Earth Armor. I'll get another attack from Rock Column. Oh, no, I can't heal. Uh, I'll get another attack from Rock Column. And then if I defeat an enemy, I'll get a purpose, and I'll get a second purpose. Because those three do defeat the Fire Nation Drill and get us three healing. And wow, push the boat all the way back to two again. At least off with only two purpose. Yeah, she can't do anything with that, so forget it. All right, we're getting very near the end. June and Nyla. Oh, that was like the, the lady on the hunting, like, well, I forget what animal it was. What animal? Oh, man, she's going to advance that every time. Definitely want to take care of her. And do, do, do. All here is minus one. You can't draw cards this turn. Okay, Sokka's got Moon Spirit, so he's definitely not going to play her. He'll just leave her for her blue power. And then that advances one. And then Sokka's actually lucky this time. He has no items. It's all a bending turn. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to reserve her because I can't draw cards anyway. But then I'm kicking some butt. Ooh, should play two more additional bending cards. No, that is an ally. Darn it, almost. So I got two purpose, three, four, five purpose, and then also two attack, but nothing else from that. And then what the hey, let's uh, defeat the, the owl and do two more to a single guy, because I'll put four on him and defeat him. Boom. All right, so we all get two healing and one purpose. Okay, and that gives Sokka six purpose. Momo. But again, I don't think we need money at this point. The water sh sphere shield, given all heroes plus one card draw, is pretty dang good. Ooh, and then actually I will buy refresh. Look at this. For two, plus one and a hero plus two, plus one healing there. Or move this card from the game to use the ability of any reserved ally. So it'll be super useful for a two call his card and then go away. More comes out. Surf the wave is pretty cool. Ooh, ice blast. That's a good card too. Oh man, roll the blue die. Nice. All right, but that's sliding over. Oh, there's Zuko. Each time it effect adds any number of that. Oh no. <laughs> Active hero loses two health. That's a bad combo. Fireblade. The active here takes one damage, so Toph has to take a damage, discard a card, and then that advances. So Toph, Toph is taking three damage, one, two, three, and discarding a card. Luckily, we healed a lot, so the three is not too bad. Um, yeah, I guess, again, Seismic Shift is fine, or Seismic Sense, but if we're not trying to buy much anymore, I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, Toph, uh, she's going to use her Pie Show tile. Well, first, let's use Stone Levitation. Purpose, attack, draw. We got Sand Bending. And then I'm going to use the Pie Show tile to activate Moon Spirit Yui. So I'm going to draw two cards and then discard one. Earth Wave and Octopus Form. I guess I'd rather have healing than buying. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. Okay, and then she'll heal one. 
Uh, I'm going to get the attack. I know the boat is accelerating, but I just want to defeat people. Sand bending two, and at the end of my turn, I can place any other played card on top of your deck. That sounds great. And one more money. Oh, wait, once again. Hold on. <laughs> I keep on missing. Yeah, let's discard Octopus Form instead of Offer Aid. So I'll heal one less, but I'll get one more money, Purpose, which then, with my ability, lets me get another, or another attack, I should say. All right, so this is a lot. Uh, five? So yeah, let's take out this combo straight up and push the boat back twice. And with her four Purpose, I think Tio is a solid one with the card draw, uh, or money if we really need it. All right, who's coming in? You can Pipsqueak. Solid attack option there. And, oh, May. Or my. Dang it. I need to watch the show again. I think it was my. This is a fun little combo. Active here discards one ally from reserve or in hand. No. Don't do that to me. Sokka's got a lot of allies right now. And by the way, before Toph draws. So I'll put Stone Levitation or Pie Show Tile. Stone Levitation is so dang good. Yeah, I'm going to put that back on top of my deck before I shuffle. All right. This turn will not be lovely for Sokka, I don't think. It takes two damage. Then he has to discard an ally from reserve or in hand. I guess I'll discard Suki because I want to keep my water people. And then, okay, that did not happen. All right, Saka, what you got? Well, I'm pushing the boat back twice and getting three purpose. Yeah, kind of like in Hogwarts Battle, you definitely have the ability to get the cards to like keep them from ever getting to the point where they draw more cards. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, I can do three damage. I don't want to draw yet because I know I have some water stuff coming. And then she's definitely more annoying, so let's put all three of it on her. Okay, and that goes to Toph. So the boat goes forward one. One, two, three, Zuko. And then, oh, she does have an ally. It's Tio, so that's annoying. What was it? Three? Wow, she's almost done. Well, Octopus Form will heal her one. And then she can use the princess to draw two and then discard one. Earth, armor, and sand bedding. Bye-bye, offer aid, for sure. Yeah, I guess you should heal two with Earth Armor. Just so we don't have to lose a bunch of uh, momentum. And then we're getting, oh, right, one of each. And new draw. And then, oh, cool. She'll uh, give herself a healing and another attack. And Sam then will give her two more. So that is four. Definitely enough to finish uh, her off. Do, do, do. One, two, three. Yep. Four, five, six. And we get one on Zuko. Okay, all here is draw a card. And then if the card is not an ally, draw again. Holy crud. For Toph, it isn't. Come on. <laughs> it was an ally. And then for Saka, not an ally. And all right. It's a lot of cards. Toph is going to reserve Zhang Zhang because I want to be able to discard the bending card, like maybe a not so useful one. So that's for nothing. And right, we should be able to clean up in a second here. Oh my gosh, Azula. Whoa, Azula. Whoa, Azula and Zuka working together is really bad. <laughs> okay, Saka. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's two advancement, two damage from Zuko. One more advancement, plus, oh my gosh, uh, two, four, six. Saka was like, I can handle you. No, you can't. You can't, Saka. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that was a lot. All right, but it's okay. We, we got this. We're going to crush. Moon Spirit, Yui, get me two cards. Discarding one. And yeah, I'm just going full on attacks. I'll discard the offer raid. Then I'm going to reserve Master Paku. I'm going to... Play Refresh to heal one, then remove it from the game to reserve his ability. So that's two attack. All right. And then, yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. Uh, <laughs> Water Sphere Shield lets me get a purpose, and everybody uh, will get to draw a card. Oh, another Water Whip, yes. All right, Sokka, this is going to get full-on revenge mode. One purpose, get two attack from the Water Whip. What? My sister ain't here, and I don't need her. One purpose and two more attack. I'm going to, like, one-shot Azula like Zuko was never able to. Another purpose. Oh, man. Both heroes get a purpose in the draw. And, oh, my gosh. I drew another water whip. <laughs> I didn't count at all how that much attack that is, but I'm sure it's a lot. Pushing the boat back one is good because it's almost to the next level. And then one more attack. All right. Let's count up the damage. Oh, and let's, you know what? Frig. <laughs> let's play Paku from reserve for two more. Right, let's see how much we ended up with. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Four. Oh, <laughs> Saka almost two shot or one shot of both of them. We each heal two from Azula. And yeah, clearly we will win on Toph's next turn. No question about that. But then what would I buy with, oh my gosh, uh, five, nine? Let's say I got Icy Blast and Grip of Ice. Sure, because then maybe I would, I'd be more likely to, be able to actually play two additional bending cards for the bonus on that one. And all right, final turn, I think. Toph, we've been spotted. So that's one. And then Toph's losing three from Zuko as well. 
So she's down to five, I think. But yeah, <laughs> clearly he's dead. <laughs> All right, so that would be it for box four. Now, of course, it does get harder in box five, six, and seven, but I still don't know if this will ever get to where I'm doing two and then three cards a turn. Remember, that was uh, one of my main, if you look at my review five years ago or whatever it was, that was one of my main complaints about uh, Hogwarts Battle, that like it was too easy to keep the enemy from accelerating. But with three enemy cards out at once, it might be okay. But I will say other problems with Hogwarts battles, the uh, stagnant market, that problem is totally gone with like the stacking and all the different options you have, especially once you get firebending. The thematic breaks of having characters be around when they aren't supposed to be, that's fixed. So almost all of my problems are fixed. Let's see uh, when I get on to five, six, and seven, if those are also better. And if so, I'll mention it in a review video when I get to it. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that was enjoyable. Gavin, some Avatar action. And a special thank you to our biggest Patreon supporters. That's J. Willie MF, Nick Skeen, Miles, Pedro Lucas, and Steve Wren. Good gaming, everyone, and we'll see you at the next stop.